We live in a world where change has changed. Change used to be gradual, but change is now rapid and exponential. I would actually say it's beyond exponential. What we're seeing with artificial intelligence currently is beyond exponential. It's a quantum leap, I would say. And so the conversations about technology is no longer reserved for tech experts. Hello? It's no longer reserved for policy makers or IT guys because we are all impacted by this technology and it is time for each and every one of us to join the conversation. And that still is my reason for being here, being without tech background, being without a degree. That is my reason for being here because we can no longer allow only the IT guys, the tech experts, to drive the conversation, okay? It is no longer business as usual. The rapid tech pace of technological change that is happening in the world today brings with it a new kind of challenges. And as a leader, unless you acknowledge these challenges, you know, and comprehend these challenges, it is imperative for you to have to acknowledge and comprehend and understand that the challenges today are different from what they used to be maybe a decade ago, even five years ago. So we have now entered in an era where digital businesses you have to have digital transformation as part of your business strategy. It has to be ingrained in your DNA, an enterprise DNA. Leadership in the age of disruption. The truth is that disruptive events, they don't just disrupt businesses, they disrupt leadership as well. If technology is disrupting businesses, it is disrupting leadership. For example, the pandemic disrupting the world, it disrupted leadership. Everyone has to sort of rethink, reposition themselves, Think out of the box, do things differently. And so there's need for new skill sets, shift in organizational structures, and changes in how businesses interact with customers. These are the new set of challenges and requiring new set of skills. Digital disruption requires that leaders should be agile, innovative, collaborative, and constantly learning to be able to stay relevant. And so if the business is going digital, leaders cannot afford to stay analog. You are disrupted. It is no longer a question of if you are disrupted, but the question of how much the disruption that is happening, either within your life or within the business. Okay, because disruption is unavoidable. It can be technology disruption, it can be life disruption, like in my case. It can be all sorts of disruption, career disruption, business disruption, but none of us sitting in this room can avoid disruption. But the good news is that you cannot go to the next level without disruption. But this is not something that happens on its own. You have to be able to be intentional to shift those type of thinking to move from your own way of life or from your own way of doing things. So digital leaders, they tackle the mindset in the organization that stands in the way of transformation. But it has to start first with the leader. Am I right? And there's this mindset that I am not a tech person. Anyone in the house ever said I'm not a tech person? <laughs> I'm guilty of that myself. I'm not a tech person, no, this is not for me, okay? Uh, ladies, forgive me. I'm not saying it's only ladies who say that with the, with the image. That's just the one I can find, okay? So the many people who are saying, I'm not a tech person, these people have all sort of gadgets, okay? They have iPhone from iPhone 6. What number are we now? <laughs> 15? <laughs> they have it all. You know, they have different sort of gadgets. But when it comes to technology conversations, they're like, no, sorry, I'm not a tech person. So that era is over where you could, like I mentioned earlier, that era where the conversations around technology was for specific people. Ten years ago, I wouldn't be talking about technology. I wouldn't even be here, right? Because there was something for IT guys. Oh, I'm, I'm in IT. I was to talk. I'm, I'm in IT. I'm the IT lady. I'm the IT guy. That was the talk, but that is all being disrupted. That is all being changed. So saying I'm not a tech person is like saying I'm not a learning person. I don't want to learn. Okay? And understanding artificial intelligence is not about building robots or coding complex algorithms. That is not what that is about. It is about understanding how this thing works. How the machine works. How does this whole thing works. And then you use that knowledge to improve your own life. 